Hi, I'm Andrew from Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zoho Creator as a customer portal for your customers to engage with your business without needing, you know, uh, uh, calls, emails, chat messages, et cetera. They can log in and they can submit some information, uh, view some information, et cetera, et cetera. So um, let me start out by sharing my screen here. And hopefully I share the right screen. Otherwise, this is going to be a short video. Okay, so here's a creator app that I've worked previously on, um, on one of our videos. And work is a loose term. So if you remember, uh, this is actually a um, uh, quoting tool. Um, and let's say we want to enable our customers to create their own quote, right? So I can go in here and I can select my, my customer name, select my information. Right, and then uh, you know it, it, this this pre-populates, right? And then I can go into view all my quotes, and I can see all the quotes that are there, right? So let's say I want to make this customer facing. So in Zoho Creator Five, version five, you used to be able to go into settings, and there used to be this customer portal thing right here. But in Creator Six, it works a little differently. So what I'm going to do is on the left hand side here, I'm going to click these this hamburger menu, it's called, and I'm going to go down to portal. Then it's going to load. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new portal. I'm going to click I agree. I'm going to select portal for quoting tool, default domain. Let's just say it's uh, public. Um, default permission is customer. Uh, a lot of portal, I'm just going to say disable because um, I don't want to do that. <laughs> And then let's create new. Great. So now we have a customer portal. And I can go in here and I can add customer portal users. So I'm going to uh, put in a customer portal user. Um, great. So now I have this customer portal user, right? I can also go and change my login page or my sign up page. Um, you know, I can I can customize that with it within a certain extent. But so now that we've enabled the portal, we want to enable the modules within the portal, right? So let's go ahead and go back to the solutions and let's go to the quoting tool, which is the one we're doing. And now we need to enable which fields are which um what. Um, what is actually available for our customers to view. So I'm going to go to the portal user permissions. And right now they can view everything. They can view all the concrete types, the quote forms, all the payments, et cetera, et cetera. We may want to modify that to a certain extent, right? So um, we don't want them to get access to the payments. So they can't view any of the payments. Okay, let's update that. Uh, but they should have access to all the concrete types and all the grades, right? So let's go ahead and update that there, right? So then I can access this application. Um, and so uh, they won't be able to see any of these payment records for some reason, right? So I've completely disabled that for them but they will be able to access the quote. However, there's a problem here. I don't want my customers being other customers quotes. I may have logic that enables certain special pricing, or I may give them someone a really good deal to win that account. And I don't want all my other customers being, whoa, they got a really good deal. How come I don't get this really good deal? So we need to go in here and edit this form so that they can only see the, the, the data they've submitted. So let's open this form builder. Right, and let's actually add a user field. User, and let's put it here. And it is a customer user, and it is mandatory, right? So it will, it will, um, in theory, will pre-fill this. But we're also just going to um, go to workflows, and we're going to actually make sure it pre-fills this. So on the quote form on the load of the form, we currently have this hide these fields here. So let's go ahead and um, we also want to hide 
the um, uh, I forget the field name for fields. It's called users. And then we also want to go input dot users equals Zoho dot um, I could, uh, don't remember this. So let's go and we'll do a quick Google search. So Zoho creator uh, customer portal ID deluge. Click that first link here. Um, this is the one we want to use. So this app dot portal login user email ID. So I'm just going to copy that and paste this right here. And let's update this. So now when they load this form, that's going to pre-fill. And you can see that I've hidden the field. Uh, but if I was a customer portal user, it would pre-fill. This would also make it so that they can only see their particular record. So let's go ahead and let's test this out. So let's see if we can log in here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now logged in as a customer portal user. And you can tell because you notice at the top, there is no edit function. Um, it allows me to now behave as a customer portal user. So let's go ahead and do a bit of navigation. You remember there's no more customer um, payments uh, data here that's been hidden for me. I don't even have the ability to access it. Let's go to all quotes. And as you can see, I still have the ability to view all quotes. So that might be a problem. So let me go back to um, uh, our admin view and let's just change that super quickly. So I can go into this all quotes. And let's go open report properties. And what we want to do is we want to set up the filter, right? And we're going to say the user is uh, equal to, uh, do you remember this right here? We had this right here. We actually want to do the same thing. We want to paste that right in here. And we can save that. Now, if I go back, we can watch the magic happen. As I refresh this page, it's going to hide all of this information, boom. So now I don't have the ability to view any of the uh, quotes that aren't mine, but I still have the ability to view the types of concrete. Now we could say, you know, this customer, they, they really shouldn't have the ability to create or edit the types of concrete. So let's just go ahead and change that super quickly, right? So here is the concrete type they can view, uh, but let's, um, prevent the access and see with the finishing type they can view right but we don't want them to access um so let's go ahead and update right so now if i refresh this here i cannot edit or or change any i could just view oh, okay it's, it's uh, just some additional pricing now i can go to the quote form and i can select my account and again I can have this set up so that it pre-populates my account information based on my login details, right? Uh, let me go with the Rocky. Let's go with the smooth square feet, 100. Let's just add a subform in here, one, one, and one, and let's submit it. Oh, um, if you remember from our previous video, we made this deal, um, deal name mandatory, right? So let's go ahead and go, um, Deal. Let's actually just make that not mandatory. So I can go back, I can go to workflows. I could load the form. And then let's just uh, disable that. So let's go to updates and let's do the same thing again. Reload the page. The deal name is test. The account is ETH test. It is 
smooth. Finishing is smooth. Square feet is one, two, three. Let's add the decimal point. And now let's submit it. Okay, I had to look off camera, figure out what was uh, what was happening. Um, it turns out I had this deal ID as a required field. Again, this is in a previous video. Uh, if you want to know more about this, um, this implementation, there will be a link in the top right corner here. So I'm just going to go and put in a deal ID, select my account, a deal name, concrete grade, the finishing, put in the square footage, have everything calculate. And then I'm going to submit this. And then if I go to all quotes, you'll see, you see that it doesn't work. The reason was I also do this off camera. So we actually don't want to use the login user email ID. We want to use the login user name. All right, that's actually the one we want to use. So let's go back to the uh, all quotes. And we're going to edit this. Um, We're going to click open report properties. We're actually going to edit this and we're going to paste that right in here. Let's click save. Now, when I refresh the page, we've got my one quote that was here. I can open it up and because I've disabled editing, it's not available. So using this kind of tool, we could do things with the customer portal for, for self-service quotes or uh, self-service orders. We can also have customers submit ticket requests or product requests or any kind of logic, right? It's basically limited to what your business use case is. Um, I hope this was helpful. A Zoho Creator Portal. Um, you can go to our website and uh, submit some information. Um, if you're just stuck on something, you can leave a comment and I would gladly help you out. Um, if you found this video helpful, you can subscribe and hit that like button. I will see you in the next video.